In low elo, you see most of the time only the extra damage options. Um, that's because people like dealing damage, right? Like, in any game ever, <laughs> to some degree, the vast majority of players are just going to pick the damage, right? 80 carries buying defense, challenge level impossible, right? Um, buy a cloth armor to counter Zed or draw 20 cards, <laughs> right? It's like uh, most players just don't want to build defense unless the defense is like very strong or very well themed. And so you tend to see players like moving towards damage. That's just, it tends to be how they like playing the game. So the key there is to like make sure that like the supportive output things are viable for the people who want to buy them. But you not, can't necessarily like force a Janna player to buy the defensive support item when she's kind of like me click on people with W, right? And if that's how they want to play, they can. Um, if only cloth armor was enough. Um, it's definitely not. That said, I do think a tragedy for some AD carries. I think, um, I really wish Berserker's Greaves was weaker. And hear me out, hear me out. You might be like, what are you talking about, August? That's ridiculous. That's the only thing that makes me feel good. But hear me out. Imagine Berserker's Greaves was weaker. AD carry items had more attack speed on them to make up for Berserker's Greaves being weaker. And then AD carries actually have the option to buy like Ninja Tabi if Zed's killing them <laughs> or Merc Treads if LeBlanc is killing them. It's like, I don't know. I feel like AD carries are somewhat trapped by their damage itemization. And if they had more options, especially in the boot slot to like actually protect themselves, it might be nice. The thing is though, is even as I say that, I know it's troll to some degree because no AD carry player is going to build defense even if I told them it was good, right? They're just going to build they're still going to build Berserker's Greaves, even if it's weaker. So, end result is we probably shouldn't do that. But I I do think that, like, Berserker's Greaves are somewhat, like, and, like, the, these chains that bind AD carries to not being able to defend themselves, even though they, they that's what they want. Like, if we change Berserker's Greaves, most AD carries players would be like, the game sucks, why, would, why do you hate us? Even if, like, the end result might be, oh, you have the option to not die to Zed this game for a little bit. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's kind of a, it's not worth doing the change because it would feel really bad, I guess. but I do think that it's very possible that the end result of it in the very long term is that AD carry players actually do feel better about playing against like the characters who kill them. Someone mentioned main character syndrome. That's another thing. Uh, here's something for all of you. If you want to win more games, be it League of Legends, Valorant, um, a lot of competitive games, honestly. And the thing is, is know when you're not the main character. Be able to recognize and understand the games where you aren't special. You're not him. You're not Gojo, right? Recognize what those games are when you're the supporting character. You're the person who helps out. You're the person who doesn't feed and ensures that the real carry, the real him, can carry the game, right? And no one does that. No one does that. No one wants to do that. But you'll actually win a lot more games when some of the games you just realize, ah, you know what? I'm outmatched, but my mid laner is really good. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not feed and support them in winning. Or, oh, I'm outmatched, but my jet is a god, so I'm just gonna smoke for her with my brimstone stuff and follow her around and and we'll win that way, right? But like, you know, no one wants to do that because everybody thinks they're the main character and honestly, I get it. The fun way to play a game like League of Legends or Valorant or whatever is to pop off and kill everybody. But if you want to win more games of Valorant or League of Legends or whatever, sometimes you need to recognize when you should help your teammates as opposed to trying to carry yourself. I am the real carry. I am the real him. You think you're Gojo for real? <laughs> Main characters only. Yep, it's true. Why is it okay for AD carries to kill people for 2,500 damage? That's actually a great question. And I'll tell you why. Uh, there is a, a more micro reason and a macro reason. So the micro reason is AD carries have the weakness of being squishy. Um, and this is basically true for the vast majority of AD carries. And when it's never not true, like they're like, oh, we can just build a bunch of tank items and still win. We tend to nerf them until it's true again, right? Um, and so even though you can clip people for 2,500 damage, 
if the enemy um, assassin or mage ever catches you even slightly out of position, you will instantly die. And that that tends to balance it. Um, and this also actually balances the fact that you can just click repeatedly for 2,500 damage because one of the things that is powerful against the Divinity Carry is putting threat on them. Like, if you're a Fizz and you just stand and look at that AD Carry funny, you might have already killed him in terms of his ability to do damage over time, right? Because every second that AD Carry isn't right-clicking people and dealing consistent damage is a second that they're losing the fight. Um, and so another power of, like, a weakness of AD Carry's doing guaranteed damage for 2500 is that a team by zoning them with their presence you can also just be strong versus any carry so that's a micro reason and it's why like we tend to balance any carries to die a more macro reason is league of legends is a game that gets better by having structure um, this is also true for valorant i think and when i say structure i mean every class has a role um, to play in the game and those roles to play intersect with each other to make a game that makes sense. And when I mean makes sense, it means that you as a player can like see any individual situation and be like, kind of know what I should be doing here. Like a very easy example of this is tank frontline versus backline, right? Tanks stand in the front to create space um, and to CC people and prevent them from getting to their backline or, or allow themselves to aggress on their frontline. And then, you know, 80 carries stand in the back and deal consistent damage. And so that's a very like grokkable and understander setup that like players can then play around and interact with. And so AD carry is doing guaranteed damage over time is they support the structure of the game and they, they move the game forward in an understandable and enjoyable way. Basically, as the game progresses, the game becomes more and more about like team fights with each team usually having at least one character who if they don't get killed, is likely to kill everybody at, at some point because they do guaranteed sustained damage. And that tends to create a structure to the game that makes it make sense and flow well and play out well. And so that's like another reason AD carries do guaranteed sustained damage is to support this structure, this type of structure in the game. Um, similarly, like Valorant has like um, duelist and controllers and controllers in Valorant smoke everything off, which allows you to get onto site and duelists are tasked with entering to, you know, get onto the site and break the site open for their team, right? Um, and then initiators, you know, use utility to get everybody out. And like each role in Valorant has a purpose that then makes a sensical way to like get onto site as an example. Um, it's like, oh, we do all this thing in tandem and that's how our team gets there together. Um, and so hyperbolically, you could be like, oh, why can Brimstone just smoke wherever he wants? Um, and the answer is, well, that's the purpose he's bringing and that's like the structure he's bringing to the game is that by being able to smoke wherever he wants, he creates an ability for the rest of his, he opened up the ability for the rest of his team to then execute into the game. So yeah, you are not Gojo. <laughs> True.